Every year in my complete canon timeline video, I say that Luke, Han, and Chewbacca are all given medals for their parts in the Battle of Yavin. And every year, people say, nuh uh, Chewie didn't get one in the movie. And I'm like, why do you think I'd point that out if I weren't trying to tell you something you might not know? But to be fair, whether or not Chewie got a medal on Yavin has been up for debate since 1977, so let's run through all the sources, both canon and legends. First, let's look at canon in the book Smuggler's Run, a Han Solo adventure. The Wookiee sighed a low rumble and gazed at the metal in his palm. On the humans, it looked substantial and solid, fit to be worn around the neck. In his hand, the scale was altered, and if he brought his fingers together, he could conceal it entirely. A pretty thing, hastily engraved in a stylized flower, meant perhaps to recall the emblem of the Republic. At its heart, a rising sun, halfway above the horizon, both symbolized the dawn of a new hope in the wake of this victory over the galactic Empire and recalled the Death Star's destruction. Despite all his posturing and swagger, there was a core to Han Solo as golden as the medals they'd all received for their part in the recent battle. For another source, we have The Princess, the Scoundrel, and the Farm Boy, a middle grade retelling of A New Hope. It clearly states Han, Chewbacca, and Luke came to stand before Leia. The medals have been placed with care on a tray. Leia turned, picked up the medals, and one by one placed them over the three heroes' heads. And finally, we have the Chewbacca comic, which sees Chewie help free some slaves on the planet Andelm 4 with the help of a young girl that lived there. At the end of their shared adventure, Chewie gives his medal to her. So it's pretty clear that even though we don't see it in the movie, Chewbacca was honored by the Rebel Alliance with a medal for his part in the Battle of Yavin. I do think it's interesting that the middle grade adaptation states something that did not happen on screen, but I'm fine to believe that while Chewie was gifted a medal, he turned down the presentation in the ceremony itself. Jumping back to Legends, it is still true that Chewbacca received a medal. A 1980 comic strip showed Princess Leia standing on a table to offer the medal to the Wookiee, basically reasoning that, again, Chewie just got the medal off screen. But there is one more source to address before wrapping up, and that's George Lucas himself. Shortly after the original Star Wars was released, Lucas answered some questions about the movies and the universe, and he explained Chewie's lack of a medal like this. Chewbacca wasn't given a medal because medals don't really mean much to Wookiees. They don't really put too much credence in them. They have different kinds of ceremonies. The Wookiee Chewbacca was in fact given a great prize and honor during a ceremony with his own people. The whole contingent from the Rebel Alliance went to Chewbacca's people and participated in a very large celebration. It was an honor for the entire Wookiee race. You can read those quotes in The Making of Star Wars. So I do think that in George Lucas's mind, Chewie did not get a medal. At least that wasn't the initial plan. The character arcs of the film are more about Luke and Han. From a storytelling standpoint, the celebration isn't just about the destruction of the Death Star, but about their growth as people. It's the same reason we don't see Wedge getting a medal, even though I would argue he certainly deserves one. The movie isn't about Wedge. So Lucas wrote medals for the two characters who grew the most and rationalized it afterwards. And then comics and books have come along just to be like, nah, Chewie got a medal after all, we just didn't see it. And then in those books and comics, I think it stays true to the fact that Chewie wasn't all that impressed with the medal. It wasn't important to him, and he knew it would mean something greater to, say, a young girl he'd just shared an adventure with. But hopefully that cleared some things up for those of you that had questions. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.